click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for watching more update videos thank you assalamu alaikum friends this is sami and you are watching civil engineers youtube channel dear friends in this video lecture today i'm gonna show you here bbs for lentil beam so many students they were asking about this topic so therefore i select this topic for today bar bending schedule for lentil beam let's start so this is the last long section of beam and this is the cross section of beam okay and the length of beam uh, we decide here uh, 3000 mm which is equal 3 meter okay and this is the cross section which uh, width and depth is 200 millimeter and 200 millimeter and we use here two kind of diameter for the steel in this lentil beam okay one dia we use here and uh, top of bars okay 10 mm okay and for the bottom bars we decide 12 mm dia okay and for the stirrup we decide the dia 8 mm and center to center distance between uh, one stirrup to other or spacing between uh, two stirrup is uh, 200 millimeter and concrete clear cover is 25 millimeter so this is the concrete clear cover okay this one and also from this side okay from up and down and also from uh, left side and right side okay so let's start so many student they said that we don't get notification about any video of your channel okay so this is the new policy of youtube if you subscribe our channel and you don't get notification so click the bell icon then you will get notification because this is the new policy of youtube if you are new so subscribe and also click the bell icon then you will get notification without this uh, click bell icon you are not able to get notification and don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends okay if you need the article about this video so the link is in the description of this video also read the article and copy this with yourself okay so uh, let's start length of steel uh, we have to find our cutting length of steel for uh, the lentil uh, we have to find okay so length of steel for 12 uh, mm dia okay so this is this one okay we have to find out the main bars first okay so 12 mm dia this one okay so we have the formula length of lentil okay so this is the length of lentil which is 3000 millimeter okay so length of lentil subtract clear cover okay clear cover already we have 25 mm okay so one side clear cover and also other side clear cover okay so length of lentil subtract clear cover multiply number of bars okay so we have a uh, two numbers already okay so let's uh, calculate these okay so is equal length of lentil which is 3000 mm okay and clear cover of the concrete is 25 mm so one side 25 plus other side 25 so it will become 50 okay so 3000 subtract 50 multiply 2 because we have a two number of steel or two numbers of bar we use in bottom okay so when you calculate this so it will give us uh, 5900 mm okay so is equal 5.9 meter is the cutting length of the uh, 12 mm dia of steel okay now length of the steel for 10 mm dia okay these two okay because we have a just four numbers okay because uh, therefore i am calculating uh, in two way because we have a two different uh, dia one is 12 mm and other one is uh, uh, one is 12 mm other one is uh, 10 mm okay so now we have to find out for the 10 mm so length of lentil same like this one length, length, length of the lentil subtract clear cover multiply number of bar okay so 3000 3, same like this one okay so also for this 3000 subtract five, uh, 50 okay one side clear cover other side clear cover which is 25 so 25 plus 25 is equal 50 multiply two number of steel we are using in the top of the uh, lentil okay so it will give us 5900 mm is equal 5.9 meter okay so now uh, we have to find out uh, the weight of steel for the 12 mm for this one okay for these two we have to find out the weight of steel for 12 mm okay so you know about this because i have already uh, taken some classes about this okay d square divided by 162 okay it will give us the unit weight of steel in kg per meter multiply running length okay d square divided by 162 multiply running length is equal so for 12 mm so 12 mm d is here 12 mm square divided by 162 multiply 5.9 this one is equal when you calculate this by calculation uh, by calculator so it will give us 5.24 kg okay and now uh, weight of steel for 
10 mm dia okay so same like this d square divided by 162 multiply running length is equal 10 square okay here is the dia and 10 mm okay so for this one for the top uh, bars right for this one okay so uh, is equal uh, multiply uh, is equal 10 square divided by 162 multiply 5.9 is equal 3.64 kg why these two are different uh, kg uh, it can give us the different kg okay because here we use 10 mm dia okay for this one for for this one okay and here 5.24 so this is for the 12 mm therefore it's different from each other now we have to find out uh, so these are the uh, weight of steel for uh, four numbers uh, of bar okay now we have to find out uh, uh, this uh, uh, also we can find out the weight of steel for the stirrup okay so this is the stirrup already we have taken the dia for the stirrup okay so this is 8 mm and center to center distance or spacing between two stirrup is uh, 200 mm right so uh, this is the other one okay so now we have to find out uh, the weight of steel and stirrup okay so already we know that uh, the size of the uh, or the cross section of the column is 200 mm and 200 mm okay so we have to find out uh, the steel uh, weight in a stirrup okay so first of all we have to find out the number of stirrups okay so these are the stirrups one two three four five six seven eight okay etc okay so when you want to find out the number of the stirrups so we have a formula number of stirrup formula okay length of lentil okay divided by spacing plus one so length of the lentil already we know that is 3000 mm is equal three meter okay so here spacing is already okay 200 mm so 3000 divided by 200 plus 1 it will give us 16 numbers of stirrup okay now find uh, now find uh, cutting length of the stirrup cutting length of the stirrup is equal we have a formula 2 multiply x okay so here you can uh, you can keep the names for this okay so this is the x section and this is the y okay so i say that this is the y uh, this is the x distance okay and this one is the y distance okay so here uh, length of the stirrup uh, length uh, cutting length of the stirrup so two we have a two so this is the one and this is the other one okay for the x this is also x this is also x okay so two multiply x so two are the numbers one and two multiply x okay x length we will put it here okay plus okay two multiply y so two one and two okay plus uh, so already multiply y y is the distance of vertical okay plus hooks okay so these are the hooks so one hook and other one hook okay minus band because this is the band here okay the steel are band here and also in this also here here okay in five uh, place we can bend this okay so okay so subtract band now uh, calcu uh, calculate these okay two multiply one four two okay two is a is a formula okay two one two two numbers okay multiply one four two already we know that the length of the x uh, is already 200 okay so 200 subtract what 50 plus fi uh, sorry 25 concrete cover and also uh, 25 so it will go it will come 50 50 mm okay so subtract 50 mm and we will come to the center of so this is the 25 so look at this already 25 this is the 25 mm okay this is also 25 mm but we select the dia 8 mm okay this is the dia dia of steel for the stirrup which is 8 mm so we will come to the half of the steel okay stirrup steel so 8 mm is a dia okay so 4 okay so 8 divided by 2 4 plus 4 okay so therefore we will subtract 4 plus 4 okay 8 and 25 so we will subtract so 25 plus 25 50 okay plus 4 half of the steel plus 4 okay so it will come 58 okay so uh, 200 subtract 58 it will give us 142 okay so 2 multiply 142 plus 2 okay this side okay x section uh, sorry x section is done and now y section okay so 2 so 2 is this one y the y is same like because 200 and 200 so the same way we can put it here 142 mm plus okay 2 
so hooks okay two hooks we have here okay look at this this is the one hook okay and this one is the second hook okay so 10d so hooks length we can get with the formula 10d okay d is a die of the stirrup which is 8 mm this one okay so 2 multiply 10 multiply 8 so 2 a, two are the hooks okay 10 d okay so 10 is this one and d is a dia of stirrup right so subtract what band okay so we have a five band one band two okay uh, so one two three four five okay so five bands and we can use for the band subtract band okay so we can use 2d formula for the band 2d okay 2 is a this one and d is a dia of the stirrup which is 8 right okay so now uh, when uh, you calculate this so it will give us 284 plus 284 plus 160 from this one and subtract 80 from this one so the total cutting length of the stirrup is 648 mm okay which is equal 0 0.648 meter now we can find out the weight of steel okay in stirrup so already we have a formula d square divided by 162 multiply running length is equal so d square d is already we will use here 8 mm dia okay so 8 mm divided by 162 multiply 10.368 so what is this so total length of the stirrup for the lentil 0 0.648 this one okay this is the one stirrup cutting length okay so already we have a 16 numbers okay so 10.36 right so multiply 10.36 okay so when you do the calculation so it will give us 4.1 kg okay so this is uh, the total weight of steel 4.1 kg 4.1 kg plus 5.24 kg plus 3.64 kg so this is the bbs for the lentil beam okay but from start to finish okay so for more videos you must like this video and subscribe this channel and if you need the article about this so the link is in the description of this video thank you all the best bye